What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new. Bleh, I can't even say it today. A brand new episode of Star. Bleh, Star Wars. What the fuck? A brand new video of Star Trek. Anyway, as you can see, I'm currently on a mission right now. I'm level 24, and in the past videos, I've been lower levels. I am actually now a commander. You guys must know how they go. It's you started as a lieutenant. Then once you hit Lieutenant Commander, they give you a free ship. You can get a free ship. In the previous videos, I had a cruiser. This here is a science vessel that has multiple guns. I got a dual phase gun in the rear that fires a blue blue cannons, and I got one up front. Also got a missile launcher in the rear, got one up front as well. We can take a look. This is the USS Saga. We go to our ship. This is our research science vessel we got three guns in the front two in the rear and multiple different types of things we don't have any science consoles as I don't know where you get those from I've looked and looked but I don't know where you'd find them we do have engineering consoles but they would increase the difference of the ship as far as my crew goes for my bridge I have two science officers on board I have this bridge officer science and then I have this one I mainly walk around with this um, engineering officer, which is my highest ranking officer as of now. She's always on the ground with me with boots. Uh, this is second, which I still have yet to change the, their display names as um, they're all you know, a little bit weird as you can see. This is my second science officer that's fairly new to the crew. He doesn't have anything, but he sits mainly in the ship when we're not there. And you see I have other ones. I have an alien science officer. It's a rare officer candidate. I have some uncommon ones. As I progress through the ranking systems, I will continue to add science. A science vessel officers and a science vessel themselves can... Um, they can improve the amount of shields your ship has. They can add certain upgrades on that switch over to my shield deflection as you can see here I got all these ships around me I'm getting ready to fight a boss but we gotta defeat another syndicate assault force we got a science vessel over here some cruisers a escort and a hunter escorts are the are the second weakest in the ship classes there's cruisers escorts and science vessels the science vessel is the weakest, involving hit points. Cruisers are made for frontal assault and heavy assault with engagements like PvP. Science vessels are almost like support, but can take more hits based on depending on what kind of you know consoles you got that allow you to increase your shield capacity. Okay, so we're gonna go and begin this battle. Now this is why I recorded today's video because this will actually be in the past videos you know almost every few missions missions you have a boss I cannot talk today for shit anyway every few missions you have a boss and um, each boss is you know harder harder than the other and since I do have backup with me, they don't they usually contribute to about 5% of the damage. You're the other 95%. They don't do a lot. And since I've decided to continue this on without Ray being around because you know I was just I was just like, oh man, I want to get my tier 4 vessel. Yeah. Anyway. Um as I float over here slowly, I'm going to tell you guys, oh, you can see the ship right there. Not too sure how close we are to it, but we'll continue floating. If I go down to my missions, you will see this is the first thing you have to complete, the Klingon world. War. War. God, Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Anyway, 
Klingon War. They are, um, there are 20 episodes, and this is where you first start out. You see a welcome to this uh, space dock. Diplomatic orders take, takes you other places, and then towards the end of it, you actually fly the original USS Enterprise, a massive ship in a different time. As you can see, I'm on Wasteland. I have two more episodes and I complete this. And then I'll move on to this. But I have to be level 26 in, in April. Yeah. I have to be level 26 in order, or to be able to do this. Gosh, man, this is such a horrible video today. I can't talk for shit at all. And then we got these, this, and this. And the this up here is supposedly the hard ones. I guess you're going down the iconic war and all that. There'll be all vice admiral and admiral to be able to do these. Fleet admiral. Because these, these are where like the starship wars are. And I'm not too sure if I will do them. Completely. If I can do sunrise, but I'd have to be a minimum rank. But these are all, we got a lot I have to do. We're barely on episode two. I'll probably finish this up, move on to a new game, wait for Ray to catch up, or Dave Cashman 1. That'll be that. Let's get right into this and, you know, all this talking. Where hell has other vessels was coming towards us? Alright, as you can see, we've done a lot. Um, you will notice there's a lot of players around here that run around. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's sh short little video, and you know, I will keep you guys updated as far as so as we go, you probably won't see another video on this specifically until 
I hit level 30 around that time and I just start showing off my new ship. I'm at tier 3 at the moment. We get tier 4 next. The ships only get bigger and bigger. You know, I hope to see this back.